Red Chopper. It came out of Virginia. It was built in 1970-ish. Don't know the guy's name that built it. A, uh, a buddy of ours in North Carolina, Bird Neck Cycles, I believe he's in North Carolina, uh, got it from the guy. The guy the guy was selling him parts and selling him this and that, told him he had a frame and stuff. He, he brought that in. And that guy was like, holy shit, this is sick. Couldn't keep it, so he sold it. Sold it to some old timer down in, it actually sold it to an old timer in Virginia. And I was cruising through Facebook, it popped up like the worst pictures, like Nokia cell phone picture, it was terrible. And hit the guy up, I was talking to him for a little bit, and then it disappeared, like he took it off the internet, whatever. So I was like, ah, it's sold. It's like, it looked cool from what I could tell. And I was like, eh, whatever. I hit the guy up a, a week later and was like, do you sell that bike? And he's, or the frame, and he's like, yeah, I do. I was getting dicked around on Facebook. I didn't want to deal with Facebook. I was like, okay, I'll buy it. So I never met the dude, nothing. He sent me the work, the same photos that I saw on Facebook again. And I was like, this might not even be real. I'll send him money through PayPal. And uh, hopefully I get it. He, I sent him the money. He put it on a pallet, shipped to me fast and all. And that thing showed up. It's. I got the frame, the frame, the fender, and the seat are all original to the bike from the set from 1970. And then everything else we did. Um, the motor was from another bike. The motor actually, the whole bike went down to Daytona and the cases are chromed and stuff and there's, the numbers are a little weird. And the dude was down in Daytona with that motor and the guy was like, hey, if you don't pay me money, I'm gonna tell the cops and they're gonna impound your bike. He grabbed the bike, took it home, split the cases, put s, &S cases, and those cases sat under a dude that we knew bed forever. Just never used the, the bike. He, we, we worked on the guy's bike. We knew he had the cases. He ended up selling us the bike I, and the cases. We put that motor back together the way it was and put it in that bike and then brought it back to Daytona. And that's where we snapped, snapped the front end. Uh, the front end was broken and we were fucked for a minute. <laughs> we scrambled, got a Springer, Slapped the Springer on there, rode to the show on Monday, won Best Chopper. Best Chopper in all of Daytona. Well, Best Chopper at the show. We got the Springer at uh, the Jam On Swap down the street from where we were camping. That that day, like three hours later. Put the APB out, people from home were hitting us up. People from down, uh, friends of ours that were down there were out looking, you know, because they were already at other swap meets. You know, people were messaging us all over the place. You know, and then we went to Jam On, and which is a week-long swap meet in Daytona. Uh, and this dude, the dude that's in the video is the dude that hooked us up. We didn't even have enough cash. We had to get it all out of the ATM. It was a nightmare. It was also a fucking nightmare installing it because it had different neck bearings for the one that broke. So we had to bang the cups out, you know, have uh, this dude Drew from, Free, from uh, Freak Show Fab. He helped us get the neck bearing on, all that stuff, and uh, sorted it out. So you're saying it's a survivor chopper? chopper? Yeah. And then one best chopper. And then one best chopper. And then one best chopper, yeah. And got a frame and a springer from Paco that Craig's gonna build his bike with. Nice. It's a lap side shuttle. And then the story goes, yeah. It was, from what I was told, it is like, back, I mean, imagine back in 97 there wasn't. 1970? Yeah. There just wasn't a ton of choppers around in general. Yeah, there was probably a decent amount in California, but like not like today. You know what I mean? The internet didn't exist. I mean, there was, what, what Easy Rider was like just coming out or had been out for like a couple years at this point. Mm -hmm. It just, yeah, there was like three bikes. It was that red one and two other ones that existed in, in Richmond at the time. So it's cool. Uh, we have friends in Virginia, from Virginia and uh, now it resides in Worcester. The paint, all that shit, all that stuff's from, yeah, it, supposedly it was repainted. It was built in like, not it, I guess technically 69 and then repainted in 1970 because the guy crashed it. That's just how it's been since. So yeah, it's a survivor chopper. We did some stuff that we liked ourselves. Like I made that sissy bar and obviously we put a springer on it. It had a girder on it. But the mo as, as far as like, from what I've seen from the pictures, the motor is close to the right year. And uh, the wheelbase is pretty much the same. It's gonna have a 21 on it now and a shorter springer. It's gonna have that springer on it that's sitting there. And uh, yeah. And you're gonna bring that to a uh, last spot of chopper That'll show. be there. That'll hopefully be ripping up all of New England this summer. That'll be, that'll be my bike and Craig will ride the black one. Nice, any other bikes you're bringing to the show? Duo Glide and the black bike. The Cuban Lynx, they have. Nice. Yeah. 
And may, I mean, maybe if we come across something cool too, in between that, we'll bring that fucking thing too. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna run out of space in our vehicles at some point though. So, we'll have to ride some of them. Gunshots or motorcycles? <laughs>